Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here. Don't forget to subscribe. And today, we're talking about your mouse. You know them, you love them, you move them around your desk. They can eavesdrop on you. Kind of. Now, here's what's going on. I think this is actually really interesting. And I love when these kinds of new surveillance techniques are discovered. And Sky Jacobs of TechSpot has a really interesting write-up on this. But we are heading to UC Irvine because researchers there have shown that sensors in high-resolution optical mice can essentially detect tiny desk vibrations and then translate them into speech. So their project, which they're calling Mike E. Mouse, which, quite frankly, I think Disney's going to sue somebody over that one, demonstrates how an ordinary mouse can become basically a listening device when it's paired with the right software. So in Mike E. Mouse... These microscopic movements that we're all doing or speaking or saying, I'm literally sitting here talking and I'm sure my mouse is picking this up, these are being reinterpreted as acoustic signals by the mice. So here's the nuts and bolts of how this works. So when a mouse rests on a desk, when somebody is speaking, vibrations travel through the surface and onto its sensor. So in other words, I am sitting here and my desk has a glass top. So as I'm speaking, my desk is picking up vibrations, which means my mouse is picking up vibrations and its sensor. So if the connected computer is running just regular or benign or even compromised software specific to this, it could access raw sensor data directly from the mouse. Those readings could then be collected and analyzed. So the researchers explain that the first step involves extracting raw motion data packets from the mouse and then isolating the vibrations associated with speech. This signal is then processed using digital signal processing techniques, including what is known as a Wiener filter to remove noise and emphasize speech frequencies. I do not know for the record what a Wiener filter is. So the filtered signal is then passed through a neural network model that reconstructs the waveform to basically give it clarity. In testing, they found that this process at the moment achieves speech recognition accuracy between 42 and 61%. That's enough to make a lot of uh, a conversation intelligible, but that's what we're talking about here. This is only going to improve, especially as mice get better, as software gets better as well. And for the record, to be very clear here, this kind of compromise doesn't require some kind of elaborate malware installation. Any application, such as a game or creative software, that legitimately requests high-frequency mouse data could be exploited if compromised. Think about that high-resolution game where you're moving the mouse around to shoot things or run or do whatever you're doing. That is high-res data that basically the game is already capturing, which means it could be captured somewhere else and manipulated. And once captured the data could be sent off site for analysis or allowing uh, basically or uh, such if it's, if it's sent off site for uh, analysis it could allow sensitive conversations to be intercepted without any obvious sign of the victim in other words i have a game that's compromised i have an application that's compromised that's requesting all of this high resolution from my high resolution mouse and as i'm sitting here talking in sensitive meetings this could essentially be sending all of my information back somewhere else where somebody could piece together my conversation and possibly what's coming out of my speakers, because that's vibrating as somebody's talking back to me as well. So the, the UC Irvine team, their team also really underscores how generative AI uh, and uh, basically accessible high-end hardware could create an unexpected vulnerability in everyday devices. And we've seen this kind of stuff before. Wireless that can basically map bodies or or understand your heartbeat, uh, you know, to that point. That was one that I was reading today. Um, you know, we've seen mice compromised in other ways, you know, for intelligence purposes. But this is, I think, a rather interesting, interesting phenomena here because it's one more thing that we don't think about that we have to to to, to deal with, right? So you might be having at some point, a very sensitive conversation to the point where, let's say, everybody that is on the Zoom or Teams or whatever meeting is putting their phones in another room. But if everybody's compromised and these things are bouncing off of these mice, somebody could possibly reconstruct that. This is like some high-end stuff in the same way that uh, somebody figured out how to basically hack a power supply in an air gap system and then variable have a variable fan speed, right? And so what that did was the fan would then rotate or, or speed up and slow down, which would can basically create zeros and ones. And if you had a recording object, let's say across the room that was picking up those fluctuations, it was recording the zeros and ones and then translating into actual data. There's so many different things with this. I just think it's really cool. So there you go. Your mouse could eventually be a eavesdropping device if it's not already. And 
here we are. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe, stay online, and please, please, please attempt to stay private, informed, and secure. Take care.